okay guys you're welcome back to our excel payroll training in the first session we spoke about how we're going to deal with each of the information in the case study so in this session we are looking at how to start with the excel template okay so first of all let's walk through the entire template and acquaint ourselves with the information each of the sheets that we have and what information we can actually get from there okay so the first sheet here is the payroll for local okay and as you can see up here we have the name of the company involved and the payroll the period is here the number of working days is also up here we will see all these how they got the number of working days everything and then also you can also see we have some numbers up here you see the relevance of it we did not start from the a column we started from b as one two up to the end of the table that we have here up to 34 okay so now if we take our payroll the headers that we have here this is the serial numbers depending on the number of employees you have so we just number them one two three downwards okay then each staff has an id a unique id that we use to identify them all those ids will come down here their names will be here each department that they belong to their tax identification number their snet number their bank details okay once we fill in all this information the department thing snet number all this we can hide it and then just focus on the other aspect of it all these are basic information okay we have this session where we see the attendance okay so now when you take the attendance session we have w dm okay working days in a month then we have adw actual days worked okay this is the working days in a month this is representing the actual days that you have worked so we'll see how to build all this in a while then we have our basic salary there if if you recall the allowances that we we're giving we have them here the uniform the cost of living the utility then we have what we call SS bonus when we are looking at December's payroll that's where we talk about bonus so these two the bonus the leave and the medical all this session will come in when we are looking at um, December because they are given at the end of the year and we have over time um, not tax at this rate we will change this header as we move on very soon we have inconvenience allowance this is for the expats family allowance is also for the expats now after we've gotten all this we will get what we call gross salary before attendance okay so we'll add the basic salary the cost of living and all other um, allowances that are taxable okay then it will give us our gross salary before attendance now after we get this figure we need to actually pay this employee based on the attendance so we come here and we take this figure and we subject it to the number of days the person has actually worked the relief that we spoke about this is where we put it this is deduction before taxable income the ti means taxable income then the SNET, the relief, if any, and then the SNET, which is mandatory, will be deducted from this figure to give us our um, taxable income. Now, this is for the employee. This is for the employee. But when you come to the employer session, the 13% SNET will be contributed by the employer himself. Okay so we take this 13 percent we calculate it on the basic salary okay over here we take 5.5 on the basic salary 
okay now this section says employer cost so these two belongs to the employer how much is the employer giving you as an individual that is the gross salary after attendance this money will be given to you then the 13 percent that the employer is also giving you when you add these two it will give you your total cost to the employer the 5.5 is not the employer that is paying it is the employee's money that we are withholding but so long as you are concerned this money and this money is what the employer is actually paying so the total will be this plus this so when we start you understand it better then we go to our taxable income now when you take your taxable income you pick your gross profit sorry gross salary after attendance you less the relief if any you less the social security contribution then it will give you this payee this is the income tax we will look at it how to do it automatically so that it will calculate our taxes for us now when you get this we need to look at our income tax after sorry our net income after payee you have deducted tax here so now you pick the total money here sorry your taxable income here okay and then you subtract the tax that you're supposed to pay if you are entitled to any relief then you add that relief back to it relief is actually supposed to cushion the amount of um, tax that you are supposed to pay so take note you take the taxable income okay you less the tax you less you add back your relief okay now you can see the they are giving the local employees TNT allowance okay so we pick that basic salary and multiply by 15 however over here remember that basic salary you subject it to attendance if the person didn't work for a particular day then that person will not be entitled to the full salary so the 15 percent you won't calculate it on the full salary you consider attendance so we'll see how to do that now net um over time when we get there we'll see how to get the net net simply means the tax on the overtime has already been calculated so if you look at the sheet we have over time in there we'll look at how to determine all that bonus we will look at it and then after that you add these other non-taxable allowances to this figure to get your net payable net income payable now in case the person took a loan sorry salary advance this is where we did that so we put it here if there is any retention you put it here we add these two we less it from this and then we get our take home pay it looks very simple but how are we going to start let's see so this is the first session we go to expert payroll which follows the same thing just that with the expert they are not entitled to a lot of allowance their only allowance is just the inconvenience and family then they are basic okay we go to payee this is where we will link our income tax and then this is the report you will be given to the tax authority okay so we'll learn very soon how to bring the thing number the salary the tax um, taxable income and then the actual tax to pay we we'll look for SNIT. this is the tier one okay that's the 13.5 that the employer has to pay after actually deducting the 18.5 this is the tier 2 which is the 5 percent that the employer has to pay okay this is the payment advice this is what we are going to give to BOE and based on this BOE will pay us so the bank account 
amount to pay then BOA will pay. This is the individual tax rate that we are going to use for our computation when it comes to the income tax. This is for the monthly. At the end of the year, if you file or return, this is what they are going to use to determine the actual tax you should have paid. But for the monthly purpose, this is what we'll be using to determine our taxes. Okay. Employees. Every single employee, according to the case study, we have where they belong to their basic salary and so on and so forth. So we have it here. Okay. And then their department, their snake number, their TIN number, their bank details. Okay. So now, if we look at the information here, there was one person that was replaced, if you recall, Mr. Um, Rustin was replaced by Mr. Robert but you can see that Mr. Robert's name is not down here so in December when you are working in December spin rule you need to include that okay but because um, this is November we will not worry ourselves with that when we are doing December we remember we are going to add another person okay so these are the sheets that we're going to work with we have the loan sheet where people who actually took up a loan or salary advance we put it here then we have the loan deduction we'll take whichever amount that was um, taking we divide by six then we put it here we'll see how to link all these sub sheets to our payroll sheet so that it will calculate it automatically for us okay we have the relief which is similar to the loan we just put the relief amount that they are entitled to here then we'll link it to the payroll then one important area has to do with our attendance our attendance so here you can see it start from 25th of october and then it runs through to 24th of november okay so now if if you are present throughout you should have 21 working days okay so that's why we, we saw 21 working days in the main payroll and also you can see we have um labeled as headers it will help us when we are building the formula so take notes one two up to the end of the attendance sheet is about um 41 okay okay so we will see we'll come back quickly to each of these sheets and deal with them individually then we go through our payroll okay so i think we have another sheet that's the ot over time for november now we already know the total number of days that we need to work which is 21 okay and we know we are supposed to work for um eight good hours so what will be the standard hours we just multiply and then hours worked we were given information that only the drivers um, enjoy over time so we assume that all the um, employees they work based on the number of days that they were present okay so if we were supposed to work for 21 days each um, day you spend eight hours then if you are present for 21 days how much hours have you actually worked we will look at all that when we come here now after we've done all this the final answer we get here is the net over time if we recall in our payroll there is net over time so basically we are trying to link all those sheets in the the payroll sheet so you can see we have net over time okay and this is a general template that was built so when we start if the information um we don't need it in no november we'll just hide that particular sheet and then deal with the ones that we need okay for example leave a uh, bonus leave medical we just hide the sheets and just work with the ones that are relevant inconvenience and family they are 
expert they don't need to be here so we we'll just hide it and then we'll go then we I think there was a retention okay retention of 45 that one too is for experts we don't need it this bonus too is for the end of the year we don't need it here so you just hide all of them okay so we'll see how to go about all this okay so thank you for your time we will meet again in the next session in the next session we'll try to link the staff id the name the department and all the other information and the beauty of excel is this we are just going to build one particular person get the tax get the basic get everything and once we are able to get for the first person we will just highlight the first person or the first rule and just copy it down and it will calculate it automatically for us okay all that we need to do is we need to make sure we have link the other tables correctly all we need to do here is just get one person correct after building the whole row up to the end that's take home pay we highlight we put our case here we double click or we hold and then we drag down and it will calculate everybody's tax their 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 information will come automatically Okay, so thank you and we'll continue shortly.